Good morning guys, Nicholas Sai here and welcome to the Nicholas Sai Show. So today, I will be doing the week 2 of the NFL picks. If you guys want to watch the uh, Steelers and uh, Redskins game tonight, it will be still a Monday night game. Including the Rams and 49ers game that comes on at 10 o'clock because I am not watching any Monday night games because I can't do that. So today, I'm going to be doing some NFL picks so I will be... See what team should I pick this week so I predict to. So here we go for next Sunday's game. But first, we're going to start off with the Thursday night game. So it's going to be their first Thursday night game of the net of the season. Here we go. Our first game. We got the New York Jets coming to Buffalo to take on the Buffalo Bills in Ralph Wilson Stadium. Now look. Um, last season, the Buffalo Bills beat the Jets twice. Because of Rex Ryan, because they both lost one of the AFC North teams. Do you saw what the Jets did against the Bengals yesterday? They had a close one, but lost to Cincy. But they could not find a way to beat the Ravens just because Buffalo couldn't stand a chance against them. So, in my honest opinion, I got the New York Jets to go for their first win over the Buffalo Bills on the road. As long as Fitzpatrick finds the way to step his game up and find a way to shut down Buffalo. So I got the Jets to win on the road for their first win. Hopefully the Niners lose today. If they lose to uh, LA, even though I picked the Niners. But anyways, next game, we got the Niners coming to Carolina to take on the Carolina Panthers. Now, I know Cam Newton lost to the Broncos, but Cam Newton has a lot of weapons. All he has to do is throw the ball to Kelvin Benjamin, Greg Olson, or any of these good players to let him run the ball to. I think Cam Newton will have a good game against the 49ers. Because Chip Kelly, he's like a winning the pool looking. He's like a winning the pool looking. This is why some of the Eagles fans don't like Chip Kelly. Because he ruins football teams. You know what the fact is? I got the Carolina Panthers to beat the living heck out of Colin Kaepernick at home. So I got the Panthers to win. Next game, we got the Dallas Cowboys coming to Washington to take on the Redskins in the NFC East rivalry matchup. But this is going to be a tough game, dude, because you got Kirk Cousins coming for his second home game to take on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Now look, last season, the Redskins had an amazing home record. I think Kirk Cousins will do the same like they did last year because they like to win at home unlike the Ravens do. So in my honest opinion, I got the Redskins to win over the Dallas Cowboys at home. So I got the Redskins game on a close game. So I got the Redskins to win at home. Next game, we got the Cincinnati Bengals coming to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers in the AFC North Showdown. Now you know Ben Roethlisberger, now you know Cincinnati want revenge on the Steelers. You know what, let me tell you something. Adam Pacman Jones, I'm disappointed in you after what you did last year. You injured Antonio Brown big time. You know what I'm decision? My decision is, I got the Pittsburgh Steelers beating the heck out of the Cincinnati Bengals to go for it, maybe if they win against the Redskins tonight. But I got the Steelers to win over the Cincinnati Bengals at home. Because the terrible towels are coming over Cincinnati on a 1 o'clock game. Next game, we got the New Orleans Saints coming to MetLife Stadium to take on the Giants. It's, oh my God, tough, tough game. Tough game. Look, Eli Manning lucky enough to get that first win yesterday. So, and they lost to the Raiders. The Saints defense and the Giants defense were terrible last season. It's a rematch of the from last season. I think New York might go for it because this time they might have a go for a win over the Saints. In my honest opinion, I got the New York Giants to win over the Saints. Because Drew Brees is getting older even though he's a great quarterback. So I got the Giants to win. What do we got here? Uh, next game, we got the Miami Dolphins come to Foxborough to take on New England. You know what, Ryan Tannehill was close to beating Seattle, but you know what, 
I got the New England Patriots to win over the Miami Dolphins. Forget that. So I got the Patriots to win. Oh, we got ourselves another tough game. Uh, Kansas City comes to Houston to take on the Texans. It's going to be another tough game. Now, look, Brock Osweiler had a good game against the um, Chicago Bears yesterday. That means they are battling for two and freaking all, oh, man. Last playoff game, they lost to the freaking Chiefs. If they need to find a way to go 2-0 against the Chiefs, all they have to do is watch out for their defense. I think it's going to be a t close one because my prediction is going to be 27-24. So I got the uh, maybe Houston. I think Kansas City might go for it if they can step their game up. So I got the Kansas City Chiefs to win over the Texans on the road. But it's going to be close. Oh, it's going to be a good one. Next game, we got the Tennessee Titans coming to Detroit to take on the Lions. You know what? Do you think Marcus Mariota going to beat the Lions? My answer is no. I think Matthew Stafford will have a good game against the Titans. He got Anquan Bolden. He got Golden Tate. A lot of weapons he had for the Lions. I got the Lions to win at home over the Tennessee Titans. Beat Marcus Mariota. So I got the Lions to win over the Tennessee Titans. Here's another good one. Baltimore travels to Cleveland to take on the Browns. Now last, yesterday, Cleveland got embarrassed against the Philadelphia Eagles. So you know what? They're going to get embarrassed again by the Ravens. I think the Ravens defense will put pressure on Robert Griffin III on the road. So I got the Baltimore Ravens to win, uh, to go 2-0 against the Cleveland Browns on the road. So I got the Ravens to win. Next game, we got the Seattle Seahawks coming to L.A. to take on the L.A. Rams. Now look, uh, Seattle, they found a way to beat the heck out of the Dolphins. So my honest opinion, well, for a fact is, I got the Seattle Seahawks to go 2-0 against the Rams. So... I got the Seahawks to win over the Rams on the road. Oh, we got ourselves another good game. Tampa Bay comes to Arizona on a, to take on uh, Carlson Palmer and the Arizona Cardinals. It's going to be a good game. The Bucks were lucky enough to get that division spot over the other teams. Jameis Winston had a good game against the Falcons yesterday. So... I think it's going to be another tough game because the Buccaneers have Arizona. Now, last night, if you saw the Patriots game, there is no way in heck that they might win this one. If Carlson Palmer can put pressure on their defense, all they have to do is to shut down the box. And if it's not, I think Arizona might go for it. Because Bruce Arians like to win at home. So I got the Arizona Cardinals to win their first win over the Buccaneers. So I got the Cardinals to win. Oh, this is going to be a big, good game. <clears throat> uh, Jacksonville comes to San Diego to take on Phillip Rivers in the, in the San Diego Chargers. Now look, the Jacksonville Jaguars, that game was crazy against the Packers yesterday. Blake Bortles proved he's a good quarterback. You know what? I think the Jaguars will upset Phillip Rivers and Chargers. And it's going to be close. You know what my prediction is going to be? 31 to 27. I got the Jaguars to win on the road to upset the Chargers. Because if, if they can win, I like the Chargers. But I'm going for the Jacksonville Jaguars to upset the Chargers on the road. Because they were close to upset Green Bay. Next game, we got the Atlanta Falcons coming to Oakland to take on the Raiders. Derek Carr, he had an amazing good game against the Saints. I think Oakland will shut down Atlanta on a close game because Derek Carr is going to have a good game against the Falcons. And as long as he throws the ball to Amari Cooper and Michael Crabtree and Latavius Murray, do your job, man. I mean, he needs to shut down Matt Ryan. Or the defense, I'm sorry. Latavius Murray needs to shut down the Falcons' defense. So I got the Raiders to win over the Falcons at home. 
Then the next game, we got the Indianapolis Colts coming to Denver to take on the Broncos. This is going to be a tough game, dude. Um, the Broncos were lucky to beat the Panthers, but their defense is not too bad. If Andrew Luck could shut down Denver, the last time they beat the Broncos, it was in the playoffs. But I think, oh my god, it's going to be tough. In my honest opinion, I got the Indianapolis Colts to win over Denver. So, I got the Colts to win. Next game, we got the Green Bay Packers on a Sunday night game to take on the Vikings. No, look, losing Teddy Bridgewater is sad, man. I mean, he's out for the entire season. They're battling for the division spot, and it's going to be tough. Aaron Rodgers, he had a good game against the Jaguars yesterday. A really good game. I got the Green Bay Packers to go 2-0 against the Minnesota Vikings. Because Green Bay has Jordy Nelson and Randall Cobb and some good offense. As long as their defense steps up, I got the Packers to win. And last but not least, it's going to be a one heck of a game, man. Philadelphia comes to Chicago to take on the Bears. You know what? Carson wins the freaking monster, dude. He's looking good as ever. I think Austin Wentz will have a good game against the Bears. So I got the Philadelphia Eagles to go 2-0 against the Chicago Bears. So they're going 2-0 next Monday to beat the Bears on the road. Anyways, that concludes my week 2 picks. What do you think of my prediction? Let me know down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the week 1 Monday night games. For the Steelers and... um. Redskins game, including the Rams and 49ers game. I'll see you guys then for week three picks, so have a good day, guys.